Hey everybody, this is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network. Today with me is Elijah Free, the master herbalist and founder of Earth Friend Herbs. Elijah, greetings. Hi there, Martin. Very good to see you and all of our wonderful folks who use our products once again. Hi, everybody. Hey, so I thought that today would be a wonderful time to uh, talk about the uh, more specialized product, Mano Ease. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say about that? That's a great product. That product began design. It must have been 30-something years ago. We wanted to create something for ladies. Actually, we have a lot of uh, requests for that, that when you're entering into the first stages of menopause, something that would work so you didn't have to take medications. And back in those days, the medications were pretty intense and had a lot of side effects. The best we could do was it actually was in two parts. We couldn't get it all in one bottle on that. It was just too complicated to do that. It worked well. Then one day I got a wonderful inspiration and the whole thing be able to shrink down into one bottle. And we simplified everything. The principle behind this is very interesting is we use a director herb in it, which is really super intelligent. A director herb actually, well, from the name, directs the other herbs and what to do. Then since every woman's body is different, you could say, well, you can measure the hormones today and we can make something hopefully for that. It doesn't mean it's going to work in two weeks. You could have a hundred ladies and you could have a hundred different types of metabolisms going on. You would need a hundred different formulas. So what we did, instead of trying to be over brilliant and decide what each person's body needed, we uh, rebuilt, uh, we could say, the concept in there of the director herbs. And then we put in a bunch of other stuff, which is raw materials. Now, what happens is the director herb actually gets in contact, you could say, with the intelligence of the cells of the body. It then sort of orchestrates, this is really cool, it actually orchestrates how the raw herbs then will be utilized so that each woman's body at a particular time, when you're taking that herb, it kind of customizes it on that. Um, works really, really well. We encourage a lot of ladies to try this. Um, we find once people find it, it's <laughs> they end up wanting to use it for a very long time afterwards. All right. Uh, Elijah, what sort of situation would a person be when it's time to consider it? Like, what sort of symptoms are they experiencing? And uh, they say, oh, yeah, this is the time to reach for the... Um, um, Good question. Good question. Now, with ladies, this can happen anywhere from mid-30s, which is incredibly young, on that, all the way up to later 50s, which is actually on the older side on it. So there's not an exact set time. I mean, there's like a mean standard, but like with many things in the healing arts, it has the tendency on both sides of that median point to be a lot more for some and a lot less for others. So some of the first symptoms that we often see when people come into my uh, healing office is things like, you know, kind of getting some hot flashes. Or my partner says, <clears throat> you know, you're acting a little bit differently. You might be more irritable. Uh, I'm not seeing such and such happen. One, a very common one can also be a lack of libido on that. I have been told many, many times that that can affect that. Sometimes weight gain can do that, lethargy, numbers of things on it. We, we generally suggest, you know, that instead of guessing is, if you have a good doctor or medical or naturopathic doctor, is go for some testing. But if it's very mild, my suggestion often is before you even do something like that, if you think it's that, then give the herbs a try. More often than not, they'll work. There's nothing that's going to work all the time, so I have to be upfront with this one. Other formulas I can say, like the fibro formula and the adrenal and things like that, those always work as long as that's the problem. But women's hormones are a very how would I put it, very complicated thing. So we find it works the majority of the time on that. But truthfully, trying a couple of bottles of that sometimes can just be what you need for numbers of years, you know, to have a very, very comfortable um, transitional period. Uh, right. to, um, new state of life. Okay. And um, so later in life, uh, there's, there's this issue of uh, estrogen progesterone imbalances. Does this address it in any way? Well, here's the thing you have to be careful of. Uh, first of all, yes, it does address it. But 
when a person gets older, you have to sometimes check to make sure that there's not a conversion. Actually, that can happen at any age. It isn't necessarily older. So if the formula doesn't work, or if it actually stops working at some point, that's the time to actually go to your doctor, have your hormones checked. What happens is a manifestation called conversion that can occur in the body where testosterone could be turned into estrogen, estrogen could be turned into progesterone and so on. So if the formula works for you, you're probably in pretty good shape with that. If it doesn't do anything or you've been using it for a, a, uh, some time and it stops, that's the time to get checked and see for that. Otherwise, a lot of the smaller symptoms clear up really, really quickly. Uh, one cool way to do this, to use it, is how we use it, say, like with the adrenal formula or the uh, PTSD formula, which is the cortisol ease. So sometimes we do what's called a saturation rate, uh, excuse me, a saturation uh, with the formula. Now, the reason that we do that is at times, we just need enough substance in the body to create a metabolic change. The average dose uh, for most of the formulas that I make are half an eyedropper three times a day. But sometimes if you get something going on that's really metabolically intense, you could really use a little bit more. So a saturation rate might be, say, like you would take a whole eyedropper um, uh, three times a day until you finish the first bottle then drop down to the half an eyedropper three times a day after that on it. But that's only if it's saying it's stubborn at the beginning and not moving and you're not comfortable enough. But a saturation is very good on a number of things on it. Every formula doesn't do that, obviously, or you would tell them, but there's just a specific few that we do very well with, uh, with that. And the meadow ease is one of them. Okay, thank you very much, Elijah. This is Martin Patella with Elijah Free at Life Enthusiast. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet.